Hey Gemini, what's up guys? I hope everybody is well. I wanted to come through with a special Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine reading. So we're going to read for Feminine and Masculine energies. Um, just general energy. I'm going to do three cards for the Masculine, three cards for the Feminine. And we're just going to see what we get. Okay, if that's something that interests you, please stick around. Gemini, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have any information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe your tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So we had the spaceship that came out. I feel like for just a general joining energy for masculine and feminine, it's almost like there is some kind of journey that's happening. You are progressing to the next level. You're moving on to the next level. Um, both of you could be considering traveling right now, or maybe you're very interested in space or very interested in um, maybe extraterrestrials or life on other planets. You could be studying something like that. Some of you guys could feel like you are the life on a different planet. Like maybe you'd feel like you don't fit in where you're at right now. Okay. There's definitely a sense of affection with each other though, for sure. So let's see. This doesn't have to be like just your divine masculine. This is just divine masculine and then divine feminine. So let's get three cards for divine masculine's energy. What's going on with Divine Masculine? Three cards, please. Okay. Divine Masculine, you're definitely feeling drawn, possibly towards a person right now. It does not have to be Divine Feminine, but take it as it resonates. Um, there's this energy here of being drawn in towards somebody or being drawn in towards something. Definitely feeling like there's a door to opportunity that's opening for you and you are being protected as you walk through this door. Okay. So let me get another one for Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine. Yeah, Divine Masculine, you're being really led right now. Okay, Spirit is definitely paying attention to you or giving you a lot of aid. Um, I'm getting this energy of giving you a lot of signs and synchronicities to help you along your path. Okay, so you're definitely maybe possibly feeling like you are being led towards Divine Feminine. Okay, or you feel this magical, mystical pull towards Divine Feminine. That's for sure. And there's this energy of like, maybe you're getting a lot of signs, you're getting a lot of synchronicities about Divine Feminine, um, possibly about the legacy that y'all have together, or your ancestors have already shown you in some kind of way that they approve of some union that you want to be involved in, Gemini. Um, that's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. One more for Divine Masculine. One more for Divine Masculine's energy. What's going on with them? I like it. I like it a lot, okay? Divine Masculine, there's something where you're being chosen right now. You're being selected for greatness, glory, okay? You could be um, getting new opportunities at work. You could be getting a lot of recognition. Things that you're putting effort and energy into right now are really paying off for you, okay? And you are being divinely guided as you are moving towards this. Okay, I like that. Divine Masculine, there could definitely be some wish fulfillment that's coming through or there's going to be something that shows up unexpectedly in your life that brings you towards your wish fulfillment. Maybe you're trying to leave a situation behind or you want to be able to move more, expand more regarding something and maybe you feel like you're unable to. The divine could be bringing in that uh, energy of being able to move. Yeah, I feel like you're extremely protected right now. There could also be something about this connection, this union, this bond that is protected. There could be possibly a lot of legacy that's going to be created from this. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got for Divine Feminine. I'm curious. What's going on with Divine Feminine? What do we need to know, Spirit? Divine Feminine's energy, please. Divine Feminine, I feel like you're just doing the doing, right? I feel like you're um enjoying your routine or you have a very heavy routine you have a lot going on in a day you're very structured you're very organized you could be working from home gemini or there could be this energy here of your job is just there's a lot of responsibility here okay so i feel like divine feminine is more in, i don't want to say stuck in the routine but that's kind of the energy i'm getting like it's very repetitive repetitive <laughs> repetitive every single day it's the same thing doing the same thing but you are making some kind of progress divine feminine you also got some bird bitches on your ass okay watching you they don't like you we knew that already though okay you, you see how the bird bitches showed up and divine feminine did it's like they really don't like divine feminine these bird bitches could be attached to the masculine or just they're flocking around in general, right? 
So every day, right? Every day of hustling, that's what I'm hearing. But every day, Divine Feminine, you're hustling, you're dealing with bird bitches, you're moving forward. Um, you could really be working out right now too, working on your body, trying to take care of yourself. Okay? Divine Feminine, you are also being led. Being led towards some kind of affection, recognition, for sure. You're being um, guided to make strategic moves right now, Divine Feminine. Okay, one more for Divine Feminine, please. One more for Divine Feminine. Oh, 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 what is this? Oh, okay. One more for Divine Feminine, please. Let's see what we got. One more. Okay, a silhouette. <laughs> my throat, my voice is still so freaking croaky. I don't feel that sick anymore, but for some reason, my voice is taking longer to come back. So yeah, sail away, sailing in. This could be wish fulfillment that's coming towards you for sure for some of you guys. I feel like there's been this energy of you being cautioned to be very selective, be very discerning about whatever opportunities you take, Divine Feminine. Because I do feel like there is this energy of something coming towards you or something um, that's on the horizon. You're not going to want to miss this boat, okay? So I don't know. I'm kind of getting the energy that Divine Masculine, you've got a little bit more of a dreamy energy going on like you're feeling very intuitively led towards the feminine energy you're feeling very pulled in okay divine feminine you're more just focused on your your everyday routine and keeping some kind of structure and stability in your life but you are also being led you can feel like you're being led out of a certain situation right now for sure what is this uh energy that divine masculine is feeling the pull towards so for some of you uh masculine energies you are feeling the pull towards a single person but that's just for some of you guys for others of you i do feel like there's this energy of having independence you want independence you want freedom um for some of my masculine energies you want financial security and also guys if this feels like it sounds like both of you guys like that sounds like me but i'm a masculine and this sounds like me but i'm a feminine take it as it resonates both of these could be for you the whole reading could be for you okay <clears throat> excuse me guys but that's kind of what i'm getting i feel like the masculine energy is feeling very pulled and drawn towards creating some kind of independence stability especially financially you might be working on a craft a skill a hobby and there's something about really being recognized within that okay um probably being like the best in your field or something that um when everybody needs somebody to do something they would go to you okay there's some kind of energy where you're very talented with what you do for sure. Some of you might be, if you are feeling like this incredible pull towards the, the feminine energy and for whatever reason you can't be with the feminine energy, because this card can sometimes talk about um, star-crossed lovers, okay? I mean, it's a mermaid and a, a human. What are they supposed to do there, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So if there's some kind of like star-crossed lover type of energy or you feel like you're being pulled towards something in general, it could be a money-making opportunity, but you feel like it's unrealistic. For some of you guys, you're trying to create some kind of independence from that. Like you're tired of thinking about it. You're tired of feeling the constant pull. With the Six of Cups, this is definitely something that maybe you feel very nostalgic about or this is definitely talking about a soulmate. Maybe you feel really independent of the soulmate right now, like you're not in their life. Whatever this is, it's plain to see, okay, Divine Masculine? It's plain to see what choice you want to make or where you want to go, where you want to be, what you love, what you care about, what you identify with. I feel like you are starting to like be self-realized or have your own opinions about things, your own thoughts. Maybe you used to go along to get along a lot. You're not doing that anymore. Pisces energy, Leo energy, Gemini energy for sure. I do feel like there is something about being the king of your castle here. I feel like there's something about playing the role. Maybe that's something that you were doing regardless of the drama, regardless of the conflict, the toxicity. It's like, I got to get out here. I got to put on this fucking red robe and I got to give these people their little crumbs, right? Some of you might have felt like that. Like you have to go to a job. You have to perform. You have to be in a relationship. You have to perform. You have to stay in this family dynamic and you have to perform. Even though there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of chaos. There could be something where it's not really equal, or you feel like you're putting in more effort with the seven pinnacles here. You could feel like you've really been waiting for a lot of the results that you want to achieve with the lovers. There could be a choice again to remove yourself from something. It's almost like you're starting to feel what you personally identify with, what you personally feel is best for you. Um, what do you want deep down inside? 
there could definitely be this energy where you've spent so long worrying about other people that now when it's time to worry about yourself, you're like, eh. <laughs> what is divine masculine being led towards here? Because you have a lot of signs, synchronicities that you're getting. I do feel like your psychic abilities are increasing as well. You could be being led towards the truth in a situation for sure or some kind of clarity. There's an epiphany that's happening. These signs are coming in rapidly. They're coming in very quickly. Um, and it feels like in a sequence. I don't know. That's for somebody. Some of you guys could definitely be getting signs that it's time to skedat from a karmic energy. Capricorn doesn't have to be. Okay. But I am getting that energy of like, it's time to leave a situation behind. Maybe you thought something was divine. You thought something was, a, you, maybe you're with somebody. You thought they were divine feminine, but they're definitely not. Okay, there could be this energy of you've been noticing things, you've been paying attention, you've been researching, possibly even spying on this person. I don't know, you've seen something lately when it comes to your surroundings, when it comes to a person that you're just not impressed with. Oh, sorry guys, the card went flying. Some of you guys are getting a lot of signs and synchronicities that it's time to leave these thought pockets behind too. I'm just going to say it, like it's time to be serious about your energy and who you exchange your energy with. What you're investing in, what you're investing your time, your money, your energy, again, your sexual energy, your emotional energy, your spiritual energy, like what you're investing these things in, okay, Divine Masculine, because it feels like, maybe not loosey-goosey, but they're saying like a free-for-all, like you would just, you know, chill with anybody, talk to anybody, maybe sleep with anybody, I don't really know y'all like that, okay? There could have been this energy too, where if you are in a connection, maybe you stepped out a lot. Maybe that's something you're trying to stop doing. Maybe you're like, look, if I don't want to be with this person or if I feel like I need to cheat on them every five minutes, maybe I need to leave. Maybe they deserve better. I would agree. Some of you guys are really starting to get serious about what you're doing with your energy, your time, your money, your thang thang, okay? Between your legs, like you're getting more serious about that. For some of you, you're really trying to leave some kind of, look, I feel like for some of my masculine energies, you're trying to leave some kind of low vibing lifestyle behind. Like you can be successful without that. You're a person without that. Whatever this is that, I don't know, guys, you tell me what you think this is talking about. Okay. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you might have been, I don't know, extra friendly. Okay. Maybe it made you feel good. Maybe it stroked your ego to be able to like have all these people or to have these people maybe want you or even like kind of compete over you or it made you feel good inside. It made you feel validated. But there's something else that's coming that's making you feel validated now. I feel like it's the connection with spirit that you're having. Something's opening up. You might be deciding to step into that chosen energy. And when you do, you know that you have to keep your energy clean. You have to make smarter decisions. So there's something here going on with that. You've been getting a lot of signs and synchronicities about the energy that you're in, the energy that's around you, um, what you're entertaining for sure, what you're doing with your wee wee. I don't know why, but spirit saying to keep it contained. Okay. It could be because maybe you're out there and like you're yearning, you're, you're really thinking about a divine feminine energy. You really want to be with her. You want to get your shit together. You want to be able to kind of do this thing together and have this legacy together. But then you're spending every single weekend or whenever you can, your free time with these freaking thought pockets. And it's like, so we are, what you want inside and versus what you're actually doing are saying two different things and maybe you're confusing spirit. So spirit's like, look, if you're going to take this um, responsibility seriously and be this chosen energy, then it has to reflect in all aspects of your life. You know, some of you might be trying to contain yourself or hold yourself back. It's like, he's looking, right? Like he's looking, but he's not getting up. He's not getting moved for this. So yeah, some of you are definitely... Um, working on regulating your energy, working on who you exchange energy with and not just doing it with anybody or realizing that people around you that maybe you have been exchanging energy with, they're kind of low vibing. You know, <laughs> entertaining the hoes because it gives you an ego boost. It's like when you really have a soulmate out there that you think about like, bruh, okay, Divine Masculine, what is this chosen energy for Divine Masculine? This is just a really quick reading, guys, okay? <clears throat> excuse me so five of wands gemini i feel like you are a little bit conflicted over the the path ahead the journey you know your purpose being chosen being in this divine energy maybe you feel like 
you're not good enough or maybe you feel like you'll let people down or maybe you feel like this is going to bring a lot of endings to your life too scorpio energy and it could i feel like it's going to bring beginnings too but it could definitely bring some endings like you might have to change you might have to walk away from things you might have to get a little bit more serious you're already feeling that energy when it comes to certain aspects of your life maybe what you want to do for a living what you want to gain independence from the energy that you do indulge in okay so you're seeing how this actually does conflict with your lifestyle that you already have going on. And you're like, mm, divine, I don't know. I don't know, right? I have to give. I have to be, uh, I have to come correct, right? For some of you guys, that's how you're feeling. You're like, I'm just a low down, dirty scoundrel. Like some of you guys might feel like that. Like there's no way I'm divine, hun. Like, I don't know. Maybe your Divine Feminine has spun this to you. Maybe you watch a lot of tarot. I don't really talk about the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine journey, like as far as the twins too much on this channel. It comes up every once in a while. Uh, but maybe you have heard it a lot or you've heard it recently and you're like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm here and I think this girl just wants me. Okay, Divine Masculine. So I'm kind of getting the energy for some of you. This is not for everybody, but there's a Divine Masculine out there that they heard about this twin journey from their twin or from somebody who wants to be their twin, thinks they're their twin. I don't fucking know, right? But they heard about this journey from a feminine energy. And so they're like, are you really like making this entire story up in your head of twins and different lifetimes together just so you can be with me? All you got to do is just say you want me, right? Like you don't really have to go through all that. I don't know. So there's something here where maybe doubting the journey, doubting your role in the journey, doubting that there you really are this divine masculine when you know you're a scoundrel. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Or you feel like you've been a scoundrel. You feel like, you know, I've been low vibing. There's something about why would you have like, why would you select me? I don't know. Not that I don't know why they wouldn't. I mean, I don't know. That's with the spirit, right? Spirit's the one <laughs> that sees you as worthy, divine masculine, that sees you as this chosen energy, that sees all the potential within you, sees what you can be, Okay. That's why you've been feeling very called to this journey, right? That's why you've been feeling like disgusted by some of your old activities or things that would usually get you excited, get you turned on or would numb you out, would suffice, make you be able to feel like you can go on another day, right? These things aren't working anymore. You're feeling the call within, but there's also this confliction there. Like, am I really that person? Am I really divine masculine? I, I don't know. So there could be a little bit of rebellion going on when it comes to this. Like, you're there to accept the crown, but you're making sarcastic jokes the whole fucking time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you showed up, you know, you got the invite from Spirit, okay? And you're like, all right, I'll go check out your little event or whatever that you got going on. So you show up to it, but then you crack jokes the whole time. You complain the whole time. You're like, eh, you know, you got to make people try to, like, sell it to you the whole time, even though you're the one that showed up. It's kind of like that energy. You're just still confused. You're still assessing your options. You're still unsure if this is actually for you, if you are actually this divine masculine energy. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of like, you know, and I feel like you're so deep into the role that you're already playing. Of course, if it doesn't resonate for you guys, you might resonate more with the divine feminine energy when we get there. We'll just have to see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I feel like you are divine masculine. Why would the tower show up? The tower is when something is built on a false foundation. You're living in an illusion. You're living a lie. And spirit's going to break it down because you have to build it back up. You're not where you're supposed to be or you're not on the path that you agreed to, that you wrote into your spiritual contract. Yeah, when it's time to sail away, okay? Some of you guys might feel like you want to sail away from the divine journey, from all this responsibility, all this obligation. You just want to be free for some of you guys. Like, I, I want to be able to go see, um, you know, Amber, Megan, Molly, Teresa, right? All these people and not really care, not really feel anything after. It's like they're getting, what is that? Somebody had told me what that's called. Oh, post nut clarity. I was like, okay, guys, because you know how sometimes like when you, I mean, it hasn't happened in a long time, obviously. Everybody knows on this channel that I'm celibate. I've been celibate for, what, four years now? So it's definitely been a while. But I do remember back in the day, a long, long, long time ago, um, when I was sexually active, there would be times where it's like I would feel guilty afterwards. Like, what was I doing? Why did I do that? 
Did, did I really like this person? Was I really into this person? Or did I just need to get a scratch or itch scratched? And if that's the case, is there a more productive way to scratch that itch, right? This is the feelings that I was having sometimes, not all the time, but I feel like that could be something that's happening. Like, whereas you used to feel really satisfied and good and like the man, motherfucking man, okay? Now you feel like I need to get away from this person as soon as possible. I'm disgusting, right? I need to go get a shower. Like you might be feeling like just different than you used to feel after doing. It doesn't just have to be sex, guys. It could be anything low vibing that you used to do. You just don't feel the same. That's because you're being called on to the journey. You're being called to level up. You're being called to ascend. You're being called to step into who you truly are. Even if you can't see it, spirit sees your potential. But I understand that we are the creators while here on this planet. And so we are the ones that have to see our potential. If we don't see it, we're not going to, you know, we're just going to kind of uh, sail away right on by whatever opportunity is because we're like, nope, no, nope. Right. <laughs> They're like, but wait, that's where we're supposed to go. He's like, no, nah, I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. We'll catch the next island. It's like avoiding you know, your destination, avoiding your crown because it's hard because you're not sure if you're deserving of it. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what's going on with divine feminine down here. Okay. For sure. I feel like you're trying to temper yourself. You're also trying to alchemize something. Maybe you're trying to create a new routine for yourself. What's up with this? What's up with this uh, routine for, uh oh, that's way too many guys. The hermit, the tower, the five of cups wanted to pop. <sighs> Y'all could be feeling like you're bored too. You know, you could definitely be mirroring divine masculine in that aspect of like, something isn't right with my everyday routine. I need to change something. Maybe you're in a job you don't want to be in. Maybe you live in an environment you don't want to be in. Maybe you're stuck playing a role every single day, just like divine masculine. I feel like that's a human thing and less of a masculine feminine thing like we're all here playing a little role on this planet and we all have to kind of break free and step into our authenticity I like that divine masculine has the sun and you have the star it's all like y'all are both up in their sky like just shining and shit okay divine feminine I do feel like you get demonized a lot okay I feel like you get demonized a lot divine feminine I, I feel like divine masculine could sit there right next to you and do the same thing and you would be the one that would be looked at negatively for it. So let's just say like you and Divine Masculine are both run, running around, creeping, sleeping around, doing whatever. Okay. But people are going to come down harder on Divine Feminine than they would on Divine Masculine because that's expected from Divine Masculine. Like, we can forgive him. He's but a fool. Right. But it's like Divine Feminine. How dare she go out there and open her legs up for anybody no, absolutely not. Like there's this energy here where you're held to a different standard, it feels like, and you feel that. Like I got to come out here. I got to pour this water. They're watching. Everybody's watching. Like it's giving that kind of energy, you know, stuck in this routine, shining. Yes. Being a star. True. Getting recognized. Of course. Right. But there is this energy too of being contained, like feeling like this is my role. I'm here to be the divine feminine. So, okay. Okay. Where the Divine Masculine is up here feeling the call to be the Divine Masculine but isn't sure if he is. Divine Feminine is actually sure that they are the Divine Feminine. But it's starting to be like it's redundant or it's the same thing every day or, it, it, or I just keep healing things or I keep working on things but things around me don't seem to shift. It's like, I don't know, I'm getting that energy. Maybe you don't feel like you're seeing the results that you want to see. I do feel like you get demonized. I do feel like a lot of people mistake you for karmic energy a lot because of their own preconceived notions of what divine is versus what divine isn't, okay? I do feel like there's something about every single day you're vulnerable, every single day you're shining, every single day you're healing yourself, you're healing others, you're doing something um, to make this place a better place. I'm getting that very strongly, okay? Aquarius, Capricorn energy doesn't have to be Gemini energy showing up. You made the divine choice a long time ago to turn your back on karmic energy, but there's something that it's like you're a little sad about it or you're sad that <sighs> maybe you feel like you are alone on this journey. Like, where is my divine masculine? Like he off there just fucking sleeping around with people and going through this damn existential crisis, seeing all the signs, feeling the pool, but he's just refusing to get like maybe you're feeling frustrated with that like sad like I gotta sit here and I gotta shine alone every single day I gotta create this legacy alone every single day because who the fuck knows 
where do my, my divine masculine's at, what he's doing, who he's doing. Some of you might know who your divine masculine is and you sit back and you maybe watch from a distance or you see that this person is not on the same journey as you and maybe that makes you sad. Yeah, maybe you feel like you're going to be forever here stuck waiting for somebody who's just not got it together. And I know that there's this energy here of like, people will say it and other tarot readers will say it all the time. I already know, guys. We're not supposed to be waiting for nobody. Ain't nobody fucking waiting for anybody, first of all. So chill out, okay? It's about the fact that you are a parrot, okay? It's like the left sock being okay, being a single independent left sock. It's like, I'm supposed to have a right sock. I'm supposed to have this pair. Where is my pair at? I feel like it's completely natural to feel that feeling. To be like, why am I doing this alone? Or where's my other half at? If you are, in fact, a pair. Because divine masculine, divine feminine, you are a pair, right? That's what everybody tells us. But then if you never get to meet up with your pair or your other half is out there doing what the fuck ever and you got to hold it all alone. Yeah, I feel like there's a sadness there or there's a resentment or there's a feeling of like being isolated or being on your own, being left behind. I don't know. I'm getting that energy. Even though you're shining, right? Like that's the thing. You are still shining. You are still getting recognition. You are still out here on your path. I feel like doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. But there's something here that it disturbs you or it upsets you. Maybe your everyday routine. Maybe what you do for a living, Gemini. Or again, maybe this whole purpose, this whole path has gotten a little bit mundane. Maybe you've seen something you don't like. I don't know, Gemini. I'm not saying you're up here like spying on your divine masculine or anything. But if you are, you could be seeing things that you're not liking. OK, and I would suggest to anybody who knows who their divine masculine is, because I'm not so sure about all this myself. So I'm just reading these cards. Um, I would suggest not to not to look in on them if they're not on the same page as you don't, because all you're going to see is different thought pockets or whatever third party they're in. You're going to see them going back and forth. You're going to see them. I don't know, Gemini. It's just like it's going to be a whole mess. I wouldn't do it personally. Okay, I don't know, Gemini, Divine Feminine, you might be feeling like just war weary or battle weary when it comes to this whole journey. What is Divine Feminine being led towards? Let's find out. Because you are being led towards something. What is this that just popped? The King of Pentacles. I just heard, but I don't want the King of Pentacles. I want the King of insert here right like so i'm getting the energy of like for some of you you're being led towards a different soulmate you're being led towards a different divine masculine a different and you don't want that person you want your original assigned divine masculine that is for some of you guys that's obviously not for everybody okay you'll know if this reading is resonating or not it feels pretty specific so if it's not for you it's not for you and that's absolutely okay okay but I feel like for some of you guys, yes, you don't want anything like you don't want this new soulmate or whatever that you've been promised. You're not interested. <laughs> like you want the assigned divine masculine that you were assigned to. That's who you want. You want them to get their shit together. You want them to be on the same page with you. You want the person you feel like you know you're supposed to be with. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Your true soulmate. That I feel like you are being led towards somebody that's going to be stable. Um, I feel like you're being led towards a masculine energy. Okay, for my feminines, yes, you are being led towards a masculine energy. But you are kind of not on that page. You're like, mm. That's just what I'm getting here. What are you being led towards? Gemini, I feel like you're being led towards a divine soulmate. OK, you can meet this person while you're out in the world. You can meet this person while you're out doing your thing. This person could be from at a distance from you. This could be a long distance kind of thing. Some of you might feel like you are being led to your original divine masculine. But for some reason, it's it's just like, I don't know. I don't think you are, though. That's the thing. I don't feel like you're being led towards somebody who's actively entertaining other people. I don't feel like you're being led towards somebody who doesn't want to accept the journey themselves. Like, how are you going to ascend with somebody who isn't sure they want to ascend, right? You have to be on the same page with this person. And I don't feel like you're on the same page as your divine masculine right now. I feel like this person's, when we get over here to the chosen energy, to accepting the crown, there's a lot of confliction and indecision here and wanting to actually run away from it. So, you know, you 
even albeit annoyed, burnt out, sad at the sacrifices you've had to make or the loss that you've suffered because of this divine journey, you're still in it. You're still shining every single day doing it, right? So there's a big difference here. One is not sure they want to sacrifice or they can sacrifice, that they're willing to sacrifice. The other has sacrificed probably far too much already. So there's something going on here where it's not equal. Okay, and maybe that's why spirit is trying to lead you towards a different soulmate. I feel that very strongly. Okay, I do. Yeah, somebody that's off in the distance, somebody that maybe they match your energy a little bit more. This person could be a Virgo. This person could be a Gemini. Take it as it resonates. Okay, um, this person is somebody that will offer something to you, not take from you. Okay, this is somebody who will offer abundance and stability into your life. All right. Now, for those of you that are perfectly fine and perfectly okay with being led towards a new soulmate, right? It does not need to be the original person that put you on the journey or that you felt like was your original divine masculine, okay? I feel like, yes, you're being led towards this person. This person could be Gemini. This person could be Virgo, okay? This person could be from a distance uh, from you. This person could definitely be somebody that you're manifesting in. They're manifesting you in. This person is either going to be older, going to have children, possibly going to own their own business, be very financially stable they could be an earth sign they don't have to be especially virgo heavy virgo this person could be um virgo with gemini in their chart or gemini with virgo heavy in their chart maybe even aquarius leo take it as it resonates but i feel like this person is going to be stable secure this person is going to show you what stability is because i feel like with your original divine masculine you weren't really feeling that stability you were feeling like in and out here and there stop go hot cold it was like that this person is steady this person might keep to themselves or they might be a master at something like um, maybe they're a carpenter or something or they build houses or maybe they put cars together or maybe they work on computers or something like that whatever it is that they do they're a master at they could be a plumber and they could be the best damn plumber in the whole town like they're booked okay busy and booked <laughs> nobody else wants to go to any other plumber they just want to go to them there's something about that whatever this person does they're a master at it and people around them recognize it so divine masculine, if you if you watch in and that don't sound like you, but you know you got a divine feminine, well, that's what's up, bruh. That is exactly what the fuck is up. Spirit is trying to lead your divine feminine to somebody else, somebody that's stable, somebody that wants to accept their journey or is already on the journey, especially carrying this um, hermit energy because that's the energy right there of spirit. So this person definitely has some kind of divine guidance or they follow a higher power or they believe in that. They want to be a good person. This is somebody who possibly has been celibate too with that hermit energy. Like very focused on their, you know, their wealth, their independence, their security. If they have kids, their kids might be a little grown or older or at least teens at this point is what I'm getting. I'm not really getting younger kids. I'm getting like older kids. And if they do have kids, they're busy making sure they can go through college and that they got their money and they got cars that they're taking care of. Like they really are. This is a family man or a family person because it could definitely be a feminine that's in a masculine energy. Take it as it resonates. You guys are going to definitely have to get in where you fit in on this reading, okay? But that's kind of what I'm getting. Like this person is about business. They stand on business. This person might be a little bit skittish too when it comes to love. It doesn't mean that they're... There's a difference here, right? Like, I feel like what you were dealing with before is like, they were skittish when it comes to love too, but their idea of avoiding love was to just go smash everything in sight, okay? This person's idea of avoiding love is to just do just that, to avoid love. They have been avoiding heartbreak. They've been avoiding being with people. They might have been chronically single for a very long time, but I feel like deep down inside, this is a family person. They do want a family or they want that happily ever after for sure, okay? So... Spirit is definitely trying to lead you, Divine Feminine, towards this masculine energy, okay? Definitely. And look at you. Look at you. For some of you, not for everybody. Some of you, this person might have to come in and convince you. I don't know why I'm seeing like a bird doing like a mating dance, <laughs> like flapping its wings or something. I don't know why I'm getting that energy. I feel like this person might come in and you might be somebody that they finally feel motivated about, right? Because this person I just said, they're not really into the whole love thing right now. They're trying to avoid being hurt. They're trying to, maybe they finally got their money up from the last disaster and they're trying to keep their money or they're trying to keep their stability. I don't know, I'm getting something like that, okay? But while this person is like that, avoiding it, 
you might have not really been sure that you were avoiding it until it was smack dab in your face. Like maybe for some of you, it wasn't about holding on to your original divine masculine. Maybe it was just this energy of like, well, I don't even know if I believe in all that shit. I'm just going to go ahead and go about my business, right? If it happens, it happens. But then you meet somebody that's like perfect for you and you're like, mm. so there is this feeling here of like, mm checking them at the door or being a little hard on this one because maybe you feel like you've been fooled before, Gemini. Like maybe your original Divine Masculine showed up in this energy as a family person, as somebody who had their shit together, as somebody who was stable. Oh, I'm single too. I'm celibate too, right? And then the whole time they're out there again with Megan, Teresa, whoever we had talked about, Molly, Mary, uh, you know, everybody and it's like mm. so there's something here where you want this person's actions to prove what they're saying okay yeah you want to see the results you want to see the evidence that this person really is who they say they are before you just open up to them i feel like you got a lot going on you got a lot of bills you're paying you got a lot of things you got a lot of responsibility you too probably have kids or you're taking care of kids or you got responsibilities there's something going on here where you're stressed and you don't need it so it's like you're willing to just kind of walk away from somebody or not even give somebody the benefit of the doubt. All right, what's this boat? What's this boat, right? <laughs> Sail away. It's definitely something selling away, okay? All right, Divine Feminine. I feel like you're selling away from anybody who wants to come in with this shysty, manipulative, low-vibing energy here. I feel like you're busy right now, kicking a lot of toxic energy out of your life, clearing your energy, cleansing your energy. You could be meditating. You could be reading more. You could be trying to expand your mind, expand your thinking. You could definitely be seeing somebody in a different way or seeing something from a different perspective. This doesn't have to be your masculine energy because I already kind of feel like you already see the truth of that person. This could be other people around you, friends, family, coworkers, maybe even a work situation. It's like the evidence is mounting is what I'm hearing. So you have a toxic energy around you right now that you're really starting to see as toxic divine feminine and you're you're trying to kind of get away from that or move on from that or create some kind of yeah create some kind of stability here damn divine feminine what you got going on what is this this could be a scorpio energy for some of my divine feminines you have a scorpio or a leo that's on your ass okay this person is just like a number one hater i know it's the number one stunner what 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 but they're giving me a number one hater i don't know why but this person is they're a number one hater they do really well too like that is their purpose to fucking sit here and hate on shit anyway some of you guys might be just you know fighting for survival right now or fighting to get ahead fighting to get equal give and take in regards to something y'all could be like around friends or people, you know, diff just different relationships, guys, that you feel like you're giving more than what you're getting, especially when it comes to business associates or friends. I'm getting that very strongly. Like there's a business associates or there's friends that are behind the scenes doing like low vibing, shysty shit. You can feel it energetically. There could be something where maybe you've been living this lie or allowing this illusion to kind of roll on for too long, divine feminine. So now spirits bring it in this tower. What is this tower about? Let's find out. We have the three of swords coming out. Look. We were seeing the king of wands up here too. I feel like your divine masculine is being represented as the king of wands. This person could have a Leo in their chart or they're just showing up as in, in this masculine fiery energy for some of you guys. Damn, divine feminine. I kind of feel like some of you, this is not for everybody. This is just who this reading is for. I feel like you're starting to finally see the true toxicity of your divine masculine for some of you. You're like, you know, this person's not going to change or this person's happy doing what they're doing, right? They want to sell away from the crown. They don't want to sell towards it. So I have to sell away from them. It's interesting that you guys both got sell away, but you're sailing away from different things. Like the divine masculine energy is not, I'm not saying that you are sailing away from it, but there's like a fight. There's a confliction here. There's an indecision or like, sh is this what I want to do? Should this, is this even real or is this right? There's so much pressure. There's so much obligation. There's so much that I feel like I'm being held to the standard and I myself don't even know if I'm ready for this. There's like a lot of pressure going on up here. I feel like divine masculine understands the severity of the crown that he's going to either accept or deny right? But Divine Feminine is sitting there watching him struggle. And it's like, why are you struggling though? 
Like there's this energy of like feeling rejected. Like if the divine masculine rejects the crown, he's, he, he blah, 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 blah. if I could fucking speak. If divine masculine rejects the crown, you feel like he's rejecting you too. But that's not actually the truth. I mean, yeah, he might be rejecting the crown and that means you got to go too. You can't be in his life because you can't, you know, come on. We already talked about it, guys, right? I'm just saying. But I don't, I wouldn't take that as a personal rejection. Like, ew, right? If I got to take you, then a fuck no, I don't want this crown. Like, it's not that. It's like, I don't want this crown, but if I, if I don't take the crown, then I can't have you. I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. Like, there's something going on there with that, okay? Either way, y'all feminines, you see it and it hurts and you feel the rejection or you feel like, you know, this person couldn't rise to the occasion or something. Like this person needs more self-love. They need to work on themselves. And that might take a couple lifetimes. Like it's not something that can just, you can't just flip the switch and be like, okay, I feel empowered now. I feel like I believe in myself. I feel like I trust the journey. Or I even feel like I believe in a God or a spirit or a higher source. Because for some of you, this divine masculine isn't even sure if they believe in that. So why would they go campaign for this, right? Why would they go be spirit's champion spirit's hero if they don't even know if they believe in spirit i mean you know i'm I'm kind of on their side when it comes to that i feel like if you don't want the journey you can't accept the journey or you don't even know what you believe in please don't stay away okay please because you're just gonna hurt yourself you're gonna do something that's gonna hurt you because this is nothing to play with right so I feel like there's something here where the masculine recognizes that even if it's just on an energetic level and there's a repelling that's happened here. I feel like the feminine sees it. You're not dumb. And the divine masculine could be over there with a karmic energy and just be living that life, living that dream, right? Living that. And I say dream because it's an illusion. It's not real, right? They're, that's not their real mate. They've decided to put themselves into this instead of being where their feminine energy is at or being where their true soulmate is at, their true divine feminine, right? And some of you guys see that. You're like, this person would rather settle for a stinking karmic over me. Like, what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. It's almost like this is making you revert back to the beginning of the journey where you had to find your self-worth, where you had to first walk away from divine masculine and realize that, you know, you deserve better. It's almost like it's reverted you back because you felt like, okay, I'm doing all the things, right? I'm doing all the things. I'm loving myself. I'm trusting myself. I'm following spirit. I'm being devout. I'm being obedient here. I'm working on my self-love. I'm separating. I'm going no, no contact. I'm not spying. I'm not, you know, I'm opening myself up to different energies. I feel like for some of you, not for everybody, for some of you, it was with the guise of that eventually this person would wake up too. Because I'm energetically leading, right? That's what all these uh, spiritualists tell us. They tell us that if we energetically lead, if we love ourselves, if we focus on the journey, that'll make our masculines focus on it too. But that's not the truth. Because everybody has free will here. Everybody has a choice whether they want to be on this journey or not. Spirit's not going to force you. That's like forcing somebody to go be in the army, go be in war, and then they don't want to be there. They're not going to be a very willing or good soldier, right? They don't want to be there. I'm sorry if that triggers some of y'all and hurts some of y'all, but I feel like that is what's going on. Some of you guys might be seeing that your masculine energy is not following suit or not catching up. And in fact, they're getting more and more comfortable in this karmic energy. Or if they're already in a karmic connection, they're not showing any signs of leaving that behind. It's like the illusion that you're ever going to get an equal give and take from this masculine energy is being busted wide open, Gemini. I would say that's why spirit's leading you to somebody else. But I know that right now you probably don't want to hear that. For those that this is resonating for. For those that this is resonating for. Damn, Gemini. Okay. Shit. You feel a little heartbroken over it. Like. You know, I guess to sail away. Some of you guys are trying not to spy on somebody or you've been watching somebody from a distance and you've seen the resistance. You've seen how they'd rather live in some kind of spiritual poverty with some low vibing energy. I mean, some of them don't even look like what they looked like when you met them. Like they've been beaten down so bad. Like life is literally showing them at every turn that they're not in the correct spot that they need to be in and they still stay. You can't help somebody like that. 
divine feminine. You cannot go in there, grab divine masculine and go, you're coming with me, right? In your Shrek voice, you can't do all that. You have to let this person decide they want to go on the journey. That's free will. You have to love this person from a distance, send them healing energy, stop watching them, stop watching them because all you're doing is hurting yourself and focus on yourself again. Get back into the journey here. I don't know, Divine Feminine. Damn. Damn. You're being led towards this energy, though. Let's get some advice and additional messages. We're just going to get general advice and additional messages, okay? We got here advice and additional messages for my Divine Feminine, Divine Masculines, please. Just whatever they need to know. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I feel like they, you, are you mad at me or something? What do we got here? Okay, we have the goddess of sacred power. You're being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. And I feel like that goes for both of y'all. Um, I feel like that goes for the feminine energy and it definitely goes for the masculine energy. You are being encouraged to, to take a leading role in your situation. So for my divine masculines, you're not happy where you're at. You're feeling the signs that it's time to leave. You feel like you deserve better. You're tired of giving your energy to low vibing people, low vibing situations, okay? You don't want to be a player no more is what I'm hearing. You don't want to live that lifestyle anymore. You have to take a leading role. You have to choose better for yourself. Divine Feminine, same goes for you. You got to choose better for yourself. You know, you need to take a leading role. Divine Feminine, I feel like there's, a, it's like the final death of something is what I'm getting. This situation with you and your original Divine Masculine has died so many times. But it's like this is the final death, it feels like. Like, that's what you need to understand. Spirit is desperately trying to lead you towards somebody else, towards something else, okay? Spirit is trying to show you there's somebody else out there that's going to match your gangster. They're going to match your energy. You're going to be really happy with this person. Like, you might not be open to it right now, but if you allowed yourself to open up to it, you would just the rest would come naturally. I feel that very strongly. I feel like you're going through some kind of final ending when it comes to this situation with your divine masculine. Like you're finally seeing that this is just not going to happen or this person's just not on the same page as you. And it sucks, right? But it's only going to suck for so long because that's the thing. Because I feel like once you can, like, look, she looks like she's been crying and stuff. Like, once you can it, finally accept this, let go of this, she looks like she's been crying too. Or maybe you just got hella allergies right now, okay? It says a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. That's exactly what I'm jabbering on about, okay? Like, right now, you might feel a little lost. Like, no, I did everything I was supposed to do. They're supposed to be here. Why aren't they here? Why are they still over there? Why are they still doing that? That's why this, that's why I have such a hard time with these, you know, and I guess I'm one of them because I've talked about the twin flame journey before for sure. But that's why I have that problem with people who say things like, if you loved yourself enough, they would love you too, right? If you focus on yourself, they'll focus on you too. I don't believe that shit. Everybody has free will. You can love the shit out of yourself. You can be self-focused to the point where you're damn near self-absorbed. And, and that motherfucker can still ignore you and go smash whoever the fuck they want to. You do not own somebody. That little soul contract you have really means nothing when you're here because it's all about will, your free will, your choice, what you want to create. You can completely reject that contract if you want to, right? So you have to be really careful when people tell you that if you do this, you'll get this result. You shouldn't be focusing on yourself to get your masculine to focus on you too, right? Right? You shouldn't be loving yourself harder so other people will love you too. Be careful getting caught up in that trap. And that's where I feel like some of you guys might feel like, I thought if I did this, I would get this. That's why you have to get your source, your information from spirit. You have to get your information from spirit, okay? Even, even me, even my information can be flawed. Even the messages I give you guys can be filtered through my own whack-ass human perception and, and morals and convictions and bias and things like that. You have to get your information from spirit. Don't let anybody else tell you how this journey is supposed to go for you or what, if you do this, you can achieve this, you'll get this. That's not the way it works. Okay, guys. 
We have the angel of self-worth. You are currently undervaluing yourself. It's time to regain your self-worth. This could definitely be talking to my masculines because you guys are the ones that are up here struggling with this journey. Do I accept this? Am I that person? Am I the divine masculine? I don't know. I'm a low down scoundrel. I like to step out on my family. I like to, you know, do shady business deals. I've hurt people. I've stolen from people. I've done despicable things. How could I ever be divine masculine, right? But you're not seeing yourself through the eyes of spirit. You're not seeing the potential. You're not seeing, um, you're just not seeing yourself in that way. You're not seeing yourself in a clear way. Even this kind of looks like an eyeball a little bit, doesn't it? It is about how you perceive yourself, okay? And there's something here too with this being at your, shake, uh, your solar chakra. There could be something here where it's like your own self-identity working on that. Divine masculine, Okay. For my divine feminines, I feel like you're kind of rounding on the end of this where you're like, yeah, you know what? I do deserve better. I do deserve somebody that's present. I do deserve to feel fulfilled in my life, in my journey. And not like, okay, I got here and now my second half isn't here. And I, and I get it. It's hard being a left sock when you know damn well there's a fucking right sock out there for you somewhere. Like, what the fuck? Right? I'm a left sock. I'm not even useful at this point. Nobody just wants one fucking sock. Right? Like, that's how you feel. I don't know. I'm getting that energy for some reason. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving y'all a therapy session today. Like, damn. Okay, what else do we have here? I resonate with some of this, guys, for both energies. I just want to let you know, I do resonate with some of this. It's not just like I'm up here pointing my finger at y'all, like, you know, but I have to kind of keep myself separated because I am the reader here. All right, what else do we have? Advice and additional messages. Excuse me, guys. We have the God of the underworld. Something which no longer serves you is about to end. And we see that on both sides. Maybe spirit's tired of both, y'all. And you're not in sense. I don't really know, okay? But there's something that's going on here. I feel like for my feminine energies, what's about to end is this notion of what the twin flame journey could be, right? What your connection is supposed to be with divine masculine. What role you're playing versus what role they're playing, okay? Uh, some of you guys have really toxic energy around you too. Toxic friends, toxic work environments, things like that. These things are ending. These things have been there and designed to kind of keep you trapped, okay? And for my masculine energies, I feel like you're already severely, deeply embedded into a toxic situation, whether this is a marriage, a work environment, something. Um, and I do feel like you've had several exit points, albeit hard ones, right? Like, I'm not saying like the exit points were smooth and everything was going to be okay. You might be waiting for that. You might be waiting for an exit point that's smooth and it's not going to have, it's like the least resistance, right? I'm going to have the least fallout from this, the least drama, the least damage, that's not what Spirit's saying. Spirit's saying, I've given you exit points. I've given you plenty of opportunities to step away from something. You've had plenty of signs that what you're doing is something that you need to um, detach yourself from, right? You've gotten plenty of signs that you are chosen energy and that this is your crown to wear and you choose to bypass it, to act like you don't see it sitting there, okay? So maybe that's what's happening here. Divine Feminine. Your divine masculine might get put onto this journey, whether they like it or not. And I don't know. I, I know that we have free will. I truly believe in that. But I feel like there's always an exception to every rule. And I feel like the exception here is when you have really created a divine contract sealed. Like, this is it. I will be. And if I, if I choose to stray, if I choose to ignore, if I choose to resist, make me that would be the only time is when you made that contract with spirit like yes if i choose if i'm not getting with the program make me get with the program and i feel like that's something that might be happening here for my divine masculines but that doesn't mean that you're going to come into union with your feminine for my feminines that are listening that doesn't mean that just because spirit's making them get on the journey that they're going to come running to you that is not the way that that's going to work they're going to get on this journey they're probably going to be stripped of a lot they're probably going to go through exactly what you went through in the beginning where you were isolated alone you felt like you had to sacrifice so much you felt like nobody understood you you know all these toxic things were being ripped away from you and even though that's a good thing it felt bad that part of the journey that's where they're about to be they're not in the mood to come wine and dine you hun i'm just saying okay that is just for some of you guys 
So yeah, I feel like the, my masculine energies, you are about to be forced onto this journey, but that doesn't mean that you're being forced onto your feminine's path. For some of you, this is not for everybody. My divine feminines, you will finally meet whoever this is that you've been being led towards because you're going to finally open up your energy. You're going to let this notion of this divine masculine sail away. Okay, you're going to open up your energy to whoever this new energy is. You're going to understand that this is something good for you. You're going to feel the connection. You're going to be absolutely fine with everything and how it's progressing and moving forward. And then your original masculine is going to come back. Because they're really like 10 steps behind you in this bitch is really what it feels like. You know, it's like you're in a line and you're getting to where you're past the gate and they're way back in the back. Like, wait, wait, trying to shove people out of the way, trying to get there. And you're you're right there. Like, you know, and Spirit's not saying to stop and wait for their ass either. I'm getting that very strongly. All right, guys, I don't know if you like this reading, if, if I still have you as a subscriber or what, but I love you, right? Um, I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.